conversation between mountain and lake. Nibbling parsecs of tranquility, a mountain peered at the lake wearing a blissful exterior. Said the lonely mountain, hello out there, a coy body a voiceless blue water ripple. Do you know who I am? The mountain gusted. I'm not to be ignored. I've been watching you. I know you have, big boy, cooed the lake. I like the dark, silent type, hid in the clouds. Come on down, she whispered to her suitor, her breathy voice so silken it was barely audible. I shall drink every drop of you, he simulated, while his shoulders shivered in their dominance. I like a hunk with an insatiable Hunger, she purred. You do? He gasped, unnerved by her lewdness. <clears throat> he yearned to cradle her darkly in his arms, as lovers do when boiled in senseless heat. Their infatuation seemed geomorphic in its intensity yet bound to cool like volcanic plasma lapping water, and doomed inside a glaciated despair, his voice granulated. I see fish drowning in your depths, he squalled in envy. <clears throat> she moved funerally like some ravenous trout pursuing an undulant minnow for a midday nibble. Being so pinnacled in coveting, a, a nimbus enshrouded him, a penumbra of jealous rage. You're seeing someone else? Moved by the rhythm of her breath, aqueous in its guile, the shadow shimmered across the meniscus to haunt him. Pity him who turns a crooked spine away from beauty, repressing an embedded appetite of irrepressible urge. Too late, too late. The romance was in the pale blue air. She fled with a servile retinue of dappled fingerlings. Yet he knew she'd return, for love has its own polarity. They'd always be lovers, with only their glances touching. A milky swarm of minnows surface. Frenzy children seek out their finny mother, redoubtable and shameless. Will she entice her man by the subtle, subtle rhythms of her gown? There is guile to her coquetry, flimsy and airy transparency. You're seeing others. I won't have it. You're mine alone. In the rising mist, a band of spooks approached her for a kiss. On a bed adorned in a raiment of agglutinated lip to dewy lip, she is theirs in an endless foreplay of a love that has no name. His muted rage roiled 
and entwined itself in ectoplasm. Each time she offered her ripple ties to a wayward fog. Glancing at her mountain who wore a broody cloud, I have my knees, came a cry, lofting to his roost. He knew he'd have to share with the ogling element, gathering waterfall, rhapsodic artist, piscator, and tourist. The day wore a long, doleful face, veiled in quiescent droplets. I see a rain shadow. I do believe it'll pour, said the painter.